You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Caillou the Road Builder. <laughs> Gilbert! It's only a storm. Nothing to be a scaredy cat about. Caillou knew the noise was just the wind blowing. But he was still a little afraid of the storm. <laughs> Rosie? <laughs> Rosie, are you okay? Rosie's scared. Don't be afraid, Rosie. <gasps> Caillou knew that Rosie was a lot more scared than he was. He wanted to help his little sister <laughs> to not be so afraid. <laughs> That's just the wind blowing, Rosie. It's going woo, woo. Go to sleep, Rosie. Whoa! Nighty night, Rosie. Nighty night, Caillou. Caillou was glad Rosie felt better. In fact, he felt better too. He wasn't afraid of a silly old storm. The next day, Mommy took Caillou to play school. It looks like that was quite a storm last night. I slept through the whole thing. Uh-oh. Look, the storm blew over that oak tree. Oh, what a shame. It was such a lovely old tree. Is it okay? I don't think so, Caillou. Its roots have been pulled up. They'll probably plant another tree there, though. Trees are very special. That corner just wouldn't look the same without one. Caillou always saw that tree on the way to play school. He was sad that it wouldn't be there anymore. Looks like we're going to have to make a detour. Detour. It means we can't take our usual road to the play school today, so we'll have to go another way. Bye! Hi, Clementine! I saw a big tree that got knocked down, and it was lying right on the road. I saw it too. The wind blew it right over. Hey, Caillou! I bet these ponies were really rocking in the storm. Good morning. Last night's storm made a real mess of our playground. So today we're cleaning up. Would you like to help? Okay! Yeah. <laughs> Look! That bird is fixing his nest with that stick! I'll leave some more here in case the birdie needs them. Caillou and his friends worked and worked until the playground was all cleaned up. This looks much better. Thanks for your help. This sand is too piled up to play cars. Let's build a road! Yeah. yeah! Let's build a road! I know just what we need. I'll be right back. I'll drive the bulldozer that clears the way for the road. Vroom, vroom. I'll drive the truck that pours the hot pavement. Blop, blop, blop. And I'll drive that, that thing with the... With the rolly thing. That was great. <laughs> Thank you. Miss Martin, what's the name of that big truck that drives over things and makes them flat? It's called a steamroller, Leo. Steamroller. I'm driving the steamroller. Vroom. Vroom, vroom. Wait, where's our road going to? To the lakes under the swings. Good idea. Right. Vroom, vroom. Stop your trucks! We can't build. 
build our road through the river, which means... We need a bridge! We can put two blocks on the sides and one block in the middle of the river. Look out! Crane coming through! <laughs> crane, crane coming, coming through. through! Crane, crane coming, coming through! through. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! Lower... Lower... Perfect! Strong enough to hold ten elephants! But is it strong enough to hold one giant foot? No! <laughs> <laughs> it's not that strong. Aw, too bad. Let's build some more road. Vroom, 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 vroom. Stop! This mountain is too steep. We're gonna have to dig a tunnel. I'll start digging on this side. <laughs> I can see you. Look, it's a big old tree. Don't do that, Clementine. It's right in our way. Drive over it, Caillou. Caillou remembered the big tree that was blown down on the road and what his mummy had said about trees. No, we have to leave it alone. Trees are special. Uh-huh. Birds live in them. We're gonna have to make a detour. What's that? A detour is when you have to go a different way to get somewhere. We're gonna go around the tree. Vroom, vroom. We made it to the lake. All done. And here's a boat for rides on Swing Lake. I don't need a boat. I'm going for a swim. Children, come inside for story time. Aw, I'll go for a swim later. Race you to the door. Look! <laughs> Go, squirrel! <laughs> Caillou's building adventure. Mommy, can we make jam sandwiches too? They're my favorite! <laughs> okay, Caillou. Caillou loved helping his mommy. And today they were making lots of sandwiches. I can do it! All done! That's great! Here, let me cut it in half. See? I'm going to cut it into two... Two triangles! <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. You'll have to wait until lunchtime. That looks like a strawberry jam Caillou special. Do you want Daddy to put it in the box for you? Oh, boy! We'd better get going. They're gonna need a lot of helpers to build that house. Can I come too? I want to help build the house. Sorry, Caillou. We'll be really busy working. And there's nothing for you to play with over there. You've already been a great help by making those sandwiches for the workers. Caillou still wanted very much to go with Daddy and Grandpa and help build the house. What if Caillou went for a quick visit with you? I'll drop Rosie off at Grandma's and Caillou can come home with me when I bring everybody's lunch. Sounds like a good plan to me. Yay! Let's go! Yay! Let's go! Daddy and Grandpa were helping a lot of other people build a house for a family that didn't have one. Caillou was very excited. He couldn't wait to see what everyone was doing. Just a minute, Caillou. Safety is very important here. That's why we wear work boots, to protect our feet. I've got my boots on. Good for you. We also need hard hats to protect our heads. Which one would you like? I can help. 
How about helping me by, uh, uh carrying these nails? <laughs> okay. This place can be dangerous, Caillou. You'll have to pay attention and be very careful, okay? Why? Well, you don't want to get in anybody's way while they're working. Just stay close to Grandpa and me, all right? Caillou was a little scared, but he felt safe because he was staying right by his Grandpa and Daddy. Caillou loved to watch people working. Hello! Let me give you a hand there. See you later. Hi, Sam. This is my son, Caillou. Pleased to meet you, Caillou. Say, I could use some of those nails. I just ran out. Oh, here you go. Thank you. I just need a couple to finish this wall. Then we can put it up. Caillou didn't think this looked much like a wall at all. Want to help, Caillou? Uh huh. Count to three for us so we'll all lift at the same time. One, two, three, lift! <laughs> <laughs> with lots of holes. We'll fix that real soon. With everybody helping, our house will be finished in no time. Sam's family is going to live in this house when it's done. That's his son right over there. Why don't you see if he wants to play? Hi, I'm Caillou. I'm Frankie. Wanna help? Caillou was very proud that he could help. He felt like a real house builder. Caillou? Caillou! I think we've got enough gravel for the moment. Thanks for all your hard work. Is this really gonna be your house? Yep, we live in an apartment now. But when the house is ready, I'm gonna have my very own room. Wanna see it? Daddy, can I go look at Frankie's new room, please? Sure, but I'll come with you. Remember, we have to be careful around here. This is it. My room! Yippee! It's big! <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be my window. I can see the whole street from here. This is going to be a great room, Frankie. Mommy's here. You know what that means. Lunch time! Thank you. Jam! That's my favorite! Mine too! <laughs> Caillou liked his new friend, Frankie. It looks wet! It's soft too! Look! Well, what do we have here? <laughs> I've got an idea. You were both helping to build this house, so why don't you leave your mark? How about a handprint? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Caillou, it's time to go. Look, Mommy, I left my mark. Bye, Caillou. Come and visit me in my new house when it's done. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou couldn't wait to see Rosie and Grandma and tell them all about his great Building adventure. Working together. Hey, Leo, do you want to help me build a castle? Sure, Caillou. Working together, we can build anything. Like a real big castle that is fit for a king. If we take our time and work as one, we'll go step by step. 
so we get the job done. We need the right equipment. We need the right clothes. A tractor to move things and a truck to bulldoze. Let's draw up a plan, then clear the site. We can move these trees to the left or the right. Let's use our shovels and start to dig. Because we want our castle to be very big. Let's build it high up to the sky. And keep out the water so our castle is dry. Now I hear there's a dragon, so we must build a gate. So make sure you measure. Make sure that it's straight. Now we're almost done. Let's close the door. Shh, quiet. I think I hear a roar. Everybody run. It's the dragon. Shoo! Working together, we can build anything. A house in the sky. It was a beautiful summer day, and Caillou the Explorer had found an anthill. Rosie, come see what I found. <gasps> Don't be scared, Rosie. Daddy! They're just little ants. <laughs> ants can't hurt you, can they, Daddy? Well, some ants bite, but the ants we have here don't. They're perfectly safe. Upsy daisy! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Caillou wondered what it would be like to be really, really small, like an ant. Yippee! Hello? Oh, yes, it is. Who's this? Really? It's so nice to hear your voice again. Where have you been? Can I take a look? Sure. They are really small, so you have to use this. <laughs> <laughs> they tickle. Me too. Ooh. That was Carol. Remember Carol from high school? Well, she's moved to the city and wants me to come over tomorrow. She has a little boy, Caillou. His name is Kevin, and he's four. I'm four, too. Can I come with you, Mommy? Of course you can, but it's a long car ride. You'll have to bring some books to look at. It was a very, very long trip. Are we there yet, Mommy? No, Caillou, but we're getting close. Caillou knew he should be patient and wait, but he was starting to think they would never get there. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Caillou was bored. Are we there yet? Yes, we are. Where's Kevin's house, Mommy? Kevin lives in this apartment building, way, way up on the 17th floor. Wow. Tall buildings like this are called skyscrapers, Caillou. Can you guess why? Because they go so high up, they scrape the sky. Right. Would you like to go up and meet Kevin now? Caillou had never met anyone who lived in the sky before. He could hardly wait to go inside. Thank you. Thank you! You're welcome. Can I press the button? We're going to 17. One, seven. Mommy, my tummy feels funny. Bye, thanks for the ride. <laughs> Why are there so many doors? 
Each door leads to a different apartment where a different family lives. Hmm. How does Kevin know which one is his door? Each door has a number on it, see? Kevin lives at number 10. Oh! Eight? Nine? Here it is! Number 10! Well, hello there. Carol! So good to see you. And this must be Kevin. Hi, Kevin. This is Caillou. Hi. Want to see my room? Okay. Can we go play in your backyard? I don't have a backyard. But I have a park that I go to every day. Me too! With swings and a big slide! Do you want to see my park? Yeah! Can I press the buttons in the elevator? Caillou didn't know what Kevin was doing. He thought he was going to show him the park. Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. He had never seen a view like this before. Wow! Everything looked so small. See over there? That's my park. We're up in the sky with the birds! <laughs> Look! You have ants in your backyard, too! Caillou thought the people down below looked like little ants. Just like the ones in his backyard. I'm making a skyscraper that goes all the way up to the clouds. Can I help? Yep. Okay, Caillou, time to go home. My goodness, you two have been busy. We made a skyscraper, Mommy. See? It's very impressive. Can Kevin come and play at our house someday? Of course. Kevin and his mom can come for a visit anytime. When you come, be sure to bring lots of books for the car ride, because it's a long, long way away. Did you and Kevin have fun? Uh-huh. Kevin's home sure is different from ours, isn't it, Mommy? Yes, it is. But I bet you and Kevin still have a lot of things in common. We sure do. We both have ants in our backyards. Ants? Caillou the Road Builder. <laughs> Gilbert! It's only a storm. Nothing to be a scaredy cat about. Caillou knew the noise was just the wind blowing. But he was still a little afraid of the storm. <laughs> Rosie? <laughs> Rosie? Are you okay? Rosie's scared. Don't be afraid, Rosie. 
Caillou knew that Rosie was a lot more scared than he was. He wanted to help his little sister to not be so afraid. <laughs> That's just the wind blowing, Rosie. It's going woo, woo, woo. Go to sleep, Rosie. Woo, woo, woo. Nighty night, Rosie. Nighty night, Caillou. Caillou was glad Rosie felt better. In fact, he felt better too. He wasn't afraid of a silly old storm. The next day, Mommy took Caillou to play school. It looks like that was quite a storm last night. I slept through the whole thing. Uh-oh. Look, the storm blew over that oak tree. Oh, what a shame. It was such a lovely old tree. Is it okay? I don't think so, Caillou. Its roots have been pulled up. They'll probably plant another tree there, though. Trees are very special. That corner just wouldn't look the same without one. Caillou always saw that tree on the way to play school. He was sad that it wouldn't be there anymore. Looks like we're gonna have to make a detour. What's a detour? It means we can't take our usual road to the play school today, so we'll have to go another way. tree that got knocked down and it was lying right on the road i saw it too the wind blew it right over hey caillou i bet these ponies were really rocking in the storm good morning last night's storm made a real mess of our playground so today we're cleaning up would you like to help okay sure. <laughs> look that bird is fixing his nest with that stick I'll leave some more here in case the birdie needs them. Caillou and his friends worked and worked until the playground was all cleaned up. This looks much better. Thanks for your help. This sand is too piled up to play cars. Let's build a road. Yeah! yeah. Let's build a road. I know just what we need. I'll be right back. I'll drive the bulldozer that clears the way for the road. Vroom, vroom. I'll drive the truck that pours the hot pavement. Blop, blop, blop. And I'll drive that, that thing with the, with the rolly thing. That was great. <laughs> Thank you. Miss Martin, what's the name of that big truck that drives over things and makes them flat? It's called a steamroller, Leo. Steamroller! I'm driving the steamroller! Vroom! 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 Wait! Where's our road going to? To the lakes under the swings! Good idea! Right. Vroom! Vroom! our road through the river, which means... We need a bridge. We can put two blocks on the sides and one block in the middle of the river. Look out! Crane coming through! <laughs> crane, crane coming, coming through! through. Crane, crane coming, coming through! through. <laughs> That's it! Lower... Lower... Perfect! Strong enough to hold ten elephants! But is it strong enough to hold one giant foot? No! <laughs> <laughs> it's not that strong! Aw, too bad. Let's build some more road. Stop! This mountain is too steep. We're gonna have to dig a tunnel. I'll start 
start digging on this side. <laughs> I can see you. Look, it's a big old tree. Don't do that, Clementine. It's right in our way. Drive over it, Caillou. Caillou remembered the big tree that was blown down on the road and what his mummy had said about trees. No, we have to leave it alone. Trees are special. Uh-huh. Birds live in them. We're gonna have to make a detour. What's that? 